Hi, I am Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to import the Napa demo in the VP Residence team. In this video you will learn the steps that you need to take before and after the demo import. On this domain I only install the team, and the first step that you need to take is to make sure that all team included plugins are installed. You will see this warning here, you will see the plugins required for the team, and the ones recommended. You can install the team included plugins by clicking begin installing plugins. You will be redirected here. I will go back to dashboard. You can install them all at once by selecting all plugins and select activate. I will install the plugins one by one to explain the purpose of each plugin. The first one is the Envato Market. This plugin will be required for the team update. I will install it and will return to the plugins list. After you install it, you will also need to activate the plugin. The next one is the one-click demo import. This plugin is required for the demo import and once you are done with the demo, you can delete it. I will install it as well and I will activate it. The VP State CRM plugin will activate the CRM theme functionality. I will install it and activate it. The VP Residence core functionality plugin is mandatory for the VP Residence team functionality to work correctly. I will install and activate. The VP Residence Elementor add-on plugin will work with the Elementor plugin. We include Elementor as page editor. I will install them both at once. After you activate the VP Residence Core Functionality plugin, you will have this section to activate the team, but I will explain this step once I am done with the plugin installed. I will activate these two plugins. Next you have the VP Residence Elementor Design Studio plugin. This plugin will allow you to import existing templates in your site and I will activate it. The MLS import plugin will work only for USA and Canada. This is an optional plugin and if you do not need it, you do not need to install it. I will not use this plugin so I will not install it. Next you have Revolution Slider, which is an included plugin that allow you to create sliders for team headers. I will install it as well and activate. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo icons to be imported along with the demo content, you will need to have this plugin installed before the demo import. I will install it. The last two plugins can be used as page editors. You'll have VP Bakery Visual Composer and VP Residence Gutenberg blocks functionality. Both plugins are optional and if you do not want to use them as page editor, you do not need to install them. I will install the two plugins as well. I will activate them and now I am done with the team included plugins installed. The next step that I need to take is to activate the team. You have this box and you need to add here the team forest username and your license code. Once you added your details, you need to check the consent box and click register license. My theme is now activated. I will go to dashboard. These are the steps that you need to take before the demo import. Next, you can proceed with the demo import process, but you need to be aware that you can import only one demo at once. And if you already imported a demo and you change your mind, you will need to reset a database and after import the new demo. For database reset, you can use a third party plugin and also you will need to deregister the license. You'll need to go to VP Residence License, click Deactivate License, Reset Database and after activate the team again and proceed with the new demo import. So now I will import the Napa demo. For that I will go to VP Residence Options, Import Demo. Here you will have all team included demos. This is the Napa demo. You'll need to click Import Demo, Continue and Import and wait for the content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo content was imported and next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. I will click visit site. You can see that on front the demo content was imported. I will go back and the first step that you need to take is to set permalinks correctly. For that you will need to go to settings, permalinks and set permalinks as postname. I will save the change. Next you will need to replace the demo team settings with your own. For that you will need to go to VP Residence Options. Start with General and set team options to fit your site. In general you'll have the option to set country measurement unit. You can set user roles 
you can upload your own logo and also you have settings for header, footer, price, custom fields and others. In social and contact you can replace the demo details for contact with your own. Also you can set social login and set your social accounts. Next you'll have header and footers with Elementor. Here you can create custom headers and footers for your site. Next in map you need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet which will be free or you can select Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected then you will need to create and add a Google Maps API key in your site. In property page section you have all options for the property page. You can select layout custom template and make other settings. Next in property card design you can make settings for the cards that will show in the lists in front end. In agent agency developers you'll have the option to change the agent page layout and make other settings. In design you can manage the design settings for your site. You can set colors, mobile menu colors and other settings. In email management you can make the settings for the notifications that will be sent from your site. Also you can change the text of those notifications. In membership you can decide on the submission type. You can keep it to be free or you can charge per listings or with membership packages. Here you can also set payment methods. You can set PayPal, Stripe or enable WooCommerce. In search you can make settings for the team advanced search. You can set the type of the search. You can change fields and make other settings. This is just a quick overview. You will need to check each section and make the settings that you need. Next I will go on front end. The demo was imported but you will need to make some manual adjustments. The first one is the menu. In the Napa demo we use the header type 6 that will need two menus and for that you will need to go to admin, appearance, menus. You will need to select here header type 6 and set it as header 6 second menu. You will need to tick this checkbox and save menu. Back on front end on refresh you'll have the menu as we have it in our official demo. Going further in the page you'll have this section for property categories. On import the categories will have different IDs and you will need to manually set the categories here and manually upload image for each category used. I will show first how the section was created. Since the page was created with Elementor I will need to edit the page with Elementor. Before doing that I will go back to admin and I will go to Elementor settings. For the Elementor editor to work you will need to check these settings. You need to go to advanced and set the switch editor loader to enable and also in features section you need to make sure that flexbox and grid container are set as active. So now I will click edit with Elementor. I will scroll down to the category section. Here we use the display category widget. The categories were not saved so you will need to manually select the categories that you want to show in this section. You will need to do this for each element. After you set categories for each element here, you will need to publish the page and go back to admin and manually assign images for each category used here. So I will go back to admin. You'll find all property categories under properties. They are categories type city, neighborhood, county, state. These are the categories that you can use in the display category widget and also you will have feature and amenities and property status as categories. I will start with neighborhood. I use this category in the home page and in order to upload an image I will need to edit the category, press the upload image button, you will have the option to select images from media or upload files from your device. I will upload an image from my device so I will press select files. I will select the image and press open. I will press insert into post and update the change. Now on home page I will refresh and the image that I just uploaded will show here. Since the steps are the same for all categories regardless of the category type I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I edit all images and now the section shows as the one from our official demo. Next in the page you will have meet our agents. 
This section will require manual adjustments as well. You will need to re-upload the agent images, but, but first you will need to go to VP Residence Options, go to Advanced, Image Settings. Here you have settings for the images resize rules. You will need to set crop to know for agent picture thumb and for property listings. You will need to save changes. You will need to go to agents and reset the featured image. You will need to edit the agent. Click the replace featured image button. Copy this image link and save it in your device. And after re-upload the image of the agent. Set the image as featured and save. Now the thumb will show correctly in the agent page and on home page. The same will need to be done for each agent, but after you are done, you will need to go back to team options, image settings, and set the crop options back to yes to avoid future misalignments. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import and next I will show some quick guidelines on how to manage the home page elements. I have Navigator enabled to have better access of the page. Also in page settings the page was set to Elementor full width and I will start with the first section which is the header one. The image was set as container background. You can change it by going to style. Here you can delete the demo image and replace it with your own. Also in background overlay you can make settings for the image overlay color and opacity. Over the header section we added text with the heading widget. You can change the text here. We added a search form created with the search form builder you'll have the option to change the search fields here for this search the settings in team options will not apply and also we added these elements with the icon list widget you'll have the option to change the text and the icons going further to the next section we created a section to display properties we added the text with the heading widget we created the properties list using the properties list with top bar widget. You'll have the option to change the top bar filters and make other settings. Next, we create a section called services. We added an image as background for the container. You can change it from style. We added text with heading widget and we created these boxes using the icon widget, the icon box for the text and a button widget for this button. You'll have the options to change text, link for button and other settings for each box created here. Going further to the next section, we created a section for featured properties. The text was added with heading widget and you will have the option to change it. And the list was created with the featured property widget. This word widget was added individually for each listing that we wanted to display. And in the widget settings, we added the property ID. You can take the IDs from admin. I will show. You will need to go to properties. And this is the ID that you need to copy in the widget. To display your properties here, you will need to replace the demo ID with IDs of the properties that you want to display here. Going further to the next section, here we created a container with two columns. We added the image as container background and you can change it in style. In the second section, we added this image as background image for container and you can also change it in style here. In the next container, we added text with heading and text editor and the color can be changed from the container style section right here. Going further we created a section with counters. We added the section title with heading and text with text editor and each box was created with the icon widget and the counter widget from Elementor. Here you'll have the option to change settings as per your needs. You'll need to do this for each container created. Next you'll have the featured neighborhood. This section was created with the display categories widget and I have already explained how to set it and how to upload images. Next we have a section for agents. To display the agents we used the agent grids widget. You'll have the option to change type, change agents and make other settings. Next we created a testimonials 
section for that we use the testimonial slider you'll have the option to change the details of each element and also to change the background color for the section you will need to select the container and go to style here you can change the color next you'll have the popular categories this is a section created with category grid builder for this section as well, you will need to manually upload images for the category used and you will have the option to change grid type design and the category type that will be displayed. Next, we created a block section. We used the blog post list widget and you'll have the option to filter posts by categories and make other settings. And for the last section in the page, we created a section with a color as background that you can change in style. We added text, we added a contact us button and a search listing button. You'll have the option to change the link here and the images here were set as background images in the style section of each container. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.